Okay, this is a fairly simple six shooter. Uh, uses a single 260, and you've chosen a gray, and I've got about four inches uninflated on it. What we're going to do is we're going to start by making a little tulip twist on the end. And then I'm going to make two small paint twists behind it to hold that in place. There's the first one. And the second one there. Just like that. And we're going to make about a two and a half to three inch barrel. I'm going to need two pinch twists here. So there's one. And two. Now I know we call this a six shooter, but technically I guess this would be a three shooter because it's going to have a bird body here to represent the six chambers. So it'll only have three. So make about two and a half to three inch bubble, followed by a pinch twist. And then we're going to make two more bubbles the same size as this and go up to here and back to make a bird body. But because of our pinch twist, we don't have to roll through. So I'll wrap it around the two pinch twists there. And then come back to the two pinch twists in the back. Just like that. Now we're going to make our handle. So we're going to go down about three or so inches and then come right back up the same size. Now you've got an option here. If you want, you can come up here and make a trigger by making a pinch twist. Or if you want to skip the trigger, you can come down here. I mean, uh, skip the hammer, I'm sorry. And you can make, but see, that pushes it out. So what I usually do is go for the trigger. But that is not easy. If you force that up in between the pinch, it'll straighten it back up. But this gets the point across. So you make about a one or one and a half inch bubble, a little pinch twist. And then we just need to trim this down to the appropriate size. So I'm going to let some air out of it. And then tie it back off. Clean that up. And there you've got a very simple and quick little six shooter.